Sa video na ito, malalaman natin kung paano sagutin ang buktong na yan gamit ang Divisibility Rules. Hi! I'm Teacher Vecca, and this is RevUp Ed. Bago natin isa-isahin ang Divisibility Rules, alamin muna natin kung ano ang ibig sabihin ng salitang Divisibility. Ang Divisibility ay parang Divide at Ability na pinagsama. Ability sa Tagalog ay kakayahan at divide, ibig sabihin ay hatiin. Sa madaling salita, ang divisibility ay ang kakayahan ng isang number na mahati o the ability of a number to be divided. Pero, dapat walang matitira, walang remainder o eksakto ang sagot. Halimbawa, kapag sinabi nating 15 is divisible by 5, ang 15 daw ay kayang hatiin sa lima nang walang matitira o remainder. Gaya nito. Tingnan naman natin kung ang 12 ay divisible by 5. May matitirang dalawa, kaya 12 is not divisible by 5. Madali lang? E paano naman kapag malaki na yung number natin? Paano natin malalaman kung divisible ba ito sa isang tinginan lang? Diyan natin magagamit yung tinatawag na divisibility rules. Ito yung mga teknik na pwede mo magamit para hindi mo na kailangan mag-compute na mahaba o mag-calculator. Malalaman mo kaagad kung divisible ang isang number. May mga rules to know if a number is divisible by 2, 3, 4, hanggang 12. But practically speaking, hindi natin magagamit lahat ng yan. So we will just tackle kung ano lang yung talagang magagamit mo. Simulan natin sa pinakamadadali, which are 2, 5, and 10. Divisibility rule for 2. Kung even ang isang number, o ito yung nagtatapos sa 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8, it is divisible by 2. Halimbawa, tingnan mo lang yung huling digit nila, 6, 0, and 4. Even number sila, therefore, these numbers are all divisible by 2. Try this. Alin sa mga ito ang divisible sa 2? Kung ang sagot mo ay 498, tama, dahil nagtatapos siya sa 8, which is an even number. Alin naman sa mga to ang hindi divisible sa 2? Tama, 121, dahil yung huling digit niya ay hindi even number. Similarly, sa divisibility ng 5, titingnan lang din natin yung huling digit. Kapag 5 or 0, Yung once digit, that number is divisible by 5. Halimbawa, nagtatapos sila sa 5 at 0 respectively, kaya both of them are divisible by 5. Try this. Which is divisible by 5? Magaling. Isa pa? Ano naman ang hindi divisible sa 5? Very good. Madali lang, di ba? Ito ang pinakamadali. Tingnan mo tong mga numbers na to. Lahat sila divisible sa 10. Paano ba malalaman kung divisible sa 10? Tumpak kapag nagtatapos sa 0 yung number. It's your turn. Answer? Correct. Ito naman. Correct. Very good. We're done with the first part of this lesson. Kung napansin mo, 2, 5, and 10 follow the same rule. Titingnan mo lang yung once digit, tapos malalaman mo na kung divisible siya o hindi. For the second part of this lesson, let's talk about the divisibility rules for 3 and 9. This time, iba na ang gagawin nating procedure, kaya makinig na mabuti. Dalawang steps lang naman ang gagawin natin. Dito muna tayo sa 3. Halimbawa, 237. First, i-add natin lahat ng digits nito. That is 2 plus 3 plus 7. You will get 12. Second step, tingnan mo yung sum na nakuha mo. Then, ask yourself, is the sum divisible by 3? 
Kapag ba dinivide ko sa 3 itong sum, sakto ba yung sagot o walang remainder? O kaya naman, ito bang sum na nakuha ko e eh nasa multiplication table o skip count ng 3? Kung yes ang sagot mo sa tanong na to, we can conclude that the given number is divisible by 3. Therefore, 237 is divisible by 3. Isa pang example. First step, add lahat ng digits. 3 plus 7 plus 9 plus 8 equals 27. Second step, ask, is 27 divisible by 3? Yes, it is. Therefore, 3,798 is divisible by 3. Ready ka na ba? Ikaw naman. Yes or no? Yes, very good. Another one. Yes or no? Okay, kapag inad natin yung digits, the sum will be 22, and 22 is not divisible by 3. Therefore, 5,746 is not divisible by 3. Kung tama ang sagot mo dito, dito na tayo sa divisibility rule for 9. Same procedure lang. Add mo lang lahat ng digits, tapos gagamitin mong pang-check yung sum na nakuha mo. But this time, dapat yung sum e divisible sa 9. Example, 8 plus 7 plus 9 plus 7 plus 5 is 36. 36 is divisible by 9. Therefore, 87,975 is divisible by 9. Another example, 823. Add all the digits. That is 13. Then ask, is this divisible by 9? When we divide 13 by 9, ang sagot ay 1. Remainder, 4. Merong natira or remainder, kaya 13 is not divisible by 9. Therefore, 823 is not divisible by 9. Gets ba? Try mo to. What's your answer? Very good! Ang sum kasi ng digits niya ay 15, which is not divisible by 9. Kaya yung 4,263 ay hindi divisible by 9. Last one. What's your answer? Very good! This number is divisible by 9. Alright! Para malaman kung divisible sa 2, 5, or 10, check the last digit. Para naman malaman kung divisible by 3 or 9, add the digits, then check. Kung malinaw na sa'yo ang divisibility rules na inara natin, you can now solve this riddle. Anong sagot mo? Hmm, let me know in the comment section below. Kung gusto mo pang ma-practice ang knowledge mo about divisibility rules, let's play! Hanapin mo lang yung game link that I provided sa description box sa baba ng video na ito para ma-access mo yung private game na ginawa ko for you. Like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.